Welcome to another Keaton's Tech video. Today, uh, we're going to be talking about uh, the Big 3 kit that we have here. This is a uh, power kit uh, that's designed for uh, specifically our current, or the current side of, of your uh, equation when you're building a stereo system. So, uh, let me get uh, this opened up and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, now with the package open, uh, let's go over the uh, components uh, of the unit. Now, uh, what we have here are two connectors. Uh, obviously, one's going to be power, one is going to be ground. Uh, the connections for the ground have a double connection here. Uh, these are obviously for the two cables that you see here. Uh, this is a 4-gauge slash aught connection, uh, so it can double up as a 4-gauge and also an aught. Here we have three connections on here on your power connection. So you've got a 8-gauge uh, slash 10-gauge and, again, a 4 gauge slash aught on two connections on each side. So this way you can have you have a complete connection to your uh, electrical system in the car. Uh, we also given you a nice little extra uh, connector. This is just simply for, it's an extra, just whatever you want to use it for, uh, that's what it's here for. A uh, set of butter cutters. Uh, butter cutters are wonderful to have, so it makes it easy to cut the cable. Uh, and then if later on you need it for some other reasons and stuff, there you go, you got yourself an extra pair of cutters. Now, in the kit itself, <clears throat> we have uh, the ground cables, two, two ground cables, and a power cable. Uh, and what we're doing here is, is we're, doing a, uh, we're making sure that the ground source uh, in the electrical system is correctly done. One of the primary problems, or one of the Achilles heels to an uh, electrical system in a car is the factory electrical system. And the factory electrical system has uh, huge problems, mainly is they were designed for what is in the car only. They were not designed for us to put a 1,000 watt or 2,000 watt stereo system inside our cars. And so uh, one of the big ones is uh, on your battery, and unfortunately I wish I had a, a prop here to show you, but on a battery, the ground cable, there is a small 8-gauge uh, cable that goes from the, the body of the car to the, the battery. Now what that's for is, is for all the internal electrical systems inside the car. So your computers, headlights, uh, you know, whatever electrical component you have in the car, that is the ground source. Your car's body is the ground source. Now, the problem with that is, is that if we add in a big stereo system in the back, say, say we throw a 1,000 watt amplifier in there. Now, we're going to take and we're going to tag the car's body at, for uh, the ground source in the back of the car because obviously that's the easiest thing to do. It's easier to do that than run two uh, power cables to the back. Um, and so the problem is, is now when we get to the front and we've got the battery, the battery is our storage medium, right? This is where we get our uh, extra current. Uh, that the alternator cannot produce because the battery has anywhere like say 800 to 1,000 cold cranking amps. So for very brief moments, we can we can uh, we can have that current that we need on demand. The problem there is is that little eight gauge cable. That little eight gauge cable cannot flow that current necessary from the battery to our amplifier in the back. So one of the things we do here is, is we re redesign or reset up the the power system underneath the hood. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to connect one of these cables here. The, let's say this one's going to go to our motor. Okay, We want to be able to connect it to a solid connection uh, point on the motor. We don't want to have a painted surface. We want to have it clean. Not on brackets or something. Something on the block or something that's actually attached to the alternator. Because the alternator uh, is the where we get all our power from, period. The battery is only just simply a storage medium. The alternator is what produces everything. It's where we get our current or where we get our, our voltage. So now we're going to take this and we're going to take the, the ground cable here and we're going to connect it to one connection here on the ground side of the, for the battery terminal. The second one, and we're going to take this and we're going to connect this to the body of the car. Now this is really, really critical. When you're doing this particular connection, you want to find yourself a solid piece of steel, thick, something heavy. And then we want to go in and what we want to do is we're going to take a bolt and a nut and we want to uh, drill it through the body. We want to take all the paint off on each side, and then we want to actually connect this down uh, to that area. Uh, it's super critical we do that. Now, after you've done that, you also want to go ahead and, and uh, paint the surface. So, you know, you can either undercoating, whatever the heck you want to do, but you want to basically put something on there so that we don't have any corrosion problems at the bottom. Then we want to take the power, and again, we want to hook it up to the ground. Now, that there uh, gives us uh, the current 
side of the equation. Now, from the front of the car to the back of the car, we have the same type of uh, current, minus, you know, uh, the welding points and stuff like that. There's going to be a sl slight variation. The last but not least uh, in the kit is going to be the power connection here. Uh, this is a, an upgraded uh, power connector that we're giving you for uh, from the alternator uh, to the battery itself. So with this kit, the prime, you know, the main reason that we you you want to use this kit uh, and all its components that are in it and stuff uh, is to give yourself a fighting chance at your uh, at current. You know, because your current's really really important. It, it, it's an evil thing. So if your voltage drops in the car, your current increases. Well, if I can't supply the current, then basically the equation just collapses. And so your amplifier that says it's a thousand watts actually is only producing maybe 500 watts because it can't source the current from the front end of the car, which it needs to do. So again, that is the prime reason why you want to use the, the big kit, uh, the big uh, three kit. Um, and you want to make sure that whatever you're doing when you're when you're doing electrical and stuff, you want to make sure your terminations are of very good quality. Uh, so make sure you know you're not fraying wires out and stuff like that. You want to have it all in there and make it nice and neat and clean. So again, uh, thank you for watching.